Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you how we can go ahead and modify different files by using uh, the command prompt uh, by going ahead and installing a payload on our uh, target machine and then accessing via command prompt. So, but command prompt is not enough. It is uh, functional. It is good, but it is uh, just not enough for us to go ahead and uh, let's say do all the thing that we want to do. Uh, command prompt cannot go ahead and give us the system. Uh, it it can give the system 32 access, but it will not make us the system itself. And uh, even uh, the administrator on a normal computer will not be able to do that. He will have to own the specific file, and even he is restricted to some or the other things. Uh, but it is only the system that can go ahead and modify or access these things. So let me show you one thing in Windows 7 if uh, I don't know whether you have noticed it previously or not. So if I want to let's say change uh, the owner of this file I can just type properties and uh, securities as you can see we have the test user that is me the administrator that is the inbuilt administrator and we have system over here. So we have access to the test user and the administrator in default. So whichever um, the, the person is, uh, whichever kind of user, may it be an administrator or may it be a user, we will have that kind of access to the machine. If the person who is using the machine is a user, then we will be the user. If he's administrator, we will be the administrator. But we want to be the system. We don't want administrator. I, I, I need uh, to be something such that if I'm just a, even a user, I need to be able to directly get access to the system. And once I am the system, I can modify the Windows updates over here that I want or and I can insert my own payloads inside the Windows updates so that even if the person goes ahead and kills it uh, through tra task manager some way or the other, uh, he still won't be able to go ahead and uh, let's say take a backup of that. Or uh, let's say he will not be able to go ahead and remove it entirely from the machine because every time he goes ahead and updates uh, the windows from over here, uh, uh, my own payload will still be injected. So in order for us to do that, first we will be needing to go ahead and gain access of the root machine. That means uh, the system over here. It's not just the administrator. System is totally different from uh, administrator. So how we would do that? So the first thing I would like to teach you would be, and yes, before I proceed with that, uh, many uh, people, um, uh, uh, not only me, there are other people as well. When I was teaching this previously, there are a lot of people who were asking me as to how we can go ahead and exit from the uh, prompt over here, C users. If you just go ahead and quit this, uh, all your connection will get disconnected. I just want to go ahead and exit, so I'll just type exit and I'll get back to the meter meter prompt. Perfect. So the first thing that I would like to check is whether I have uh, the uh, privilege access that means whether I have uh, the system access so I have the get briefs option over here it will attempt to enable all the privileges available to the current process so I will go ahead and type get system and let's see as you can see I have the access denied it is not allowing me the reason being that as soon as I press get system, uh, you will won't be able to see but um, uh, you may be knowing that there is a user account control whenever you run something as an administrator. If I go ahead and right click and uh, let me see if I have some of the other file over here. Okay, I had the zip file. Okay, so if I go down right click and run as administrator. So this is a user account control UAC. I want to go ahead and bypass that so that it won't ask me anything if you want to go ahead and access the user. I want to totally be able to bypass that and only a system, uh, only the system can go ahead and do that. Not even administrators can do that until unless they go over here and change that. I'm, and I cannot go ahead and do that. The reason being I'm using a command prompt. Uh, I'm, I cannot go ahead and use any, let's say, any graphical user interface over here. I can do that, I can go ahead and get a remote access to the machine but as soon as I go ahead and get a remote access by using the R desktop command, the person over here will straight away log out and he will come to know that uh, someone is logging his machine and we don't want uh, that to happen. At later point of time, it will be may necessary when the person is not available at his machine but at this point of time, we don't want that. We just want to simply gain access to the root that is the system. So the first thing that I'd like to tell you is that sometimes you may not be even be able to go ahead and open the shell prompt from over here. Sometimes if you are a user, you cannot do that since I am the administrator over here. That is uh, the test user. He, uh, this is the administrator. I am able to gain access to uh, the command prompt. So if you are unable to do go ahead and gain access to your command prompt, you can type execute space f command dot exe cmd dot exe hyphen i space hyphen h and just hit enter. So what this is do exactly is 
that as you can see this was channel 4 created and it is different from the previous channel that those I created. It is forcefully executing the command prompt in a remote mode. So the person over here won't even recognize that the command prompt is running until unless he goes ahead into the task manager and sees it running over here. So yes and uh, yeah so we have our payload over here the first thing that we would like to do is that uh, we need to go ahead and migrate it so let's go ahead and check uh, how we can go ahead and migrate it i have shown that to you in previous tutorial so let's go ahead uh, through that once again and then we will go ahead and migrate that to another process so first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and get all the list of things that are working over here so let me check um, the pids over here okay get pid so the current process get pid yeah would be let me check it's 2368 the one that i have right now for my payload okay you won't be able to see that over here but i need the pid for each and everything so let's check as to how we can go ahead and do that and uh, let's check no 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 Okay, cat was for the meterpreter prompt and not uh, the command prompt. That's the reason I was unable to go ahead and gain access to that. So let me check what all. So okay, uh, okay, over here it's perfect. List all running processes. So I'll just go ahead and type ps, and uh, we have two three six eight for our payload and yeah that is a pid i don't want the ppid now let's check for our explorer uh where is okay for uh okay the explorer is 2152 and um the payload is 2368 so i'll type migrate 2368 to 2152 can migrate into current process. I, okay, sorry. Two one five two. Okay, it should be done successfully. Perfect. And if I go ahead and check, I cannot see the payload over here. The reason being that it's uh, migrated to Explorer itself. Perfect. So now the next thing that I would like to go ahead and do would be to gain access of the remote system. So in order for me to go uh, and before I go ahead and do that I will be teaching that in the next tutorial because that is something in much detail so which I cannot continue in this tutorial. So I'll just go ahead and show you how we can go ahead and get a remote uh, desktop access just in case if you will go ahead and want to do that. So you can just open another terminal and you can type R desktop and you can type U. And you need to know the username of your computer and if you want to know the username then just go ahead and type over here uh, sysinfo and the name of the uh, person is test user so just copy it and paste it over here I believe it is the same right test user perfect and a test user and hyphen p uh, hyphen u is for the username that you're stating that this is the username and hyphen p is for the password and i get that you don't know what is the password of this person yet and again if you want to know the password you will have to gain access to the security accounts manager that's a sam database or the hash file of the windows 7 don't worry i will be teaching you that in the next tutorial i'm just hurrying up in this tutorial because i have to go ahead and continue this part so you can just go ahead and type and the password for my this version is abcd at the rate one two three. I know it's quite simple, but I was not even trying to make it uh, a bit even a bit complicated. And after that, I need to go ahead and get the IP address. So I can just go ahead and type over here. And let me check if IP config works. Okay, it works, and uh, I have the IP address. So I can just copy it and paste it over here. And I should probably be able to get the remote desktop, but I doubt I would be able to do that. The reason being that I'm already uh, running it on virtual so I doubt I will be able to gain access to that yeah I won't be able to reason being that I am running both of them under virtual machines that's why so but uh, if you uh, so it will take much more of RAM and it will normally shut down my computer so I'll just go ahead and cancel that so this is one way as to how you can go ahead and uh, get remote access to the desktop that you want to 
So yeah, and that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll go ahead and teach you as to how exactly we can get into the system. And we'll also show you how we can go ahead and clear the records because every time you do go, go ahead and do something, we always have the event records over here, event viewer, and I'll also go ahead and type event logs. So uh, all uh, the administrators can go ahead and see whatever modifications have I did till now and what all things that I made changes to. So this is not a good thing if you go ahead and want to uh, securely get out of the system. So as you can see we have uh, special privileges assigned to the new logon and I, I want to go ahead and clear all these events because uh, I don't want... No, get lost. Okay. So I don't want the administrator or whoever person's PC I'm hacking into, I don't want that person to go ahead and uh, to let him know that uh, I have actually accessed this system or someone has actually accessed this because uh, the event logs can be very uh, difficult to go ahead and get uh, taken care of once they have noticed that. So I'll be teaching you that too in the next tutorial. So that is it guys for this tutorial. I'll be uh, meeting you back in the next tutorial.